Hey guys, I wanted to show you one of my easy go-to makeup looks if I'm feeling lazy or if I'm in a hurry or just not feeling that creative. So if you want to see how I do that, then please keep watching. So I have to prime my face no matter what. So I'm going to use Milani's Prime Shield for my nose and um, Milani's Baby Skin for the rest of my face. And the reason why I use two primers is because I have a combination skin, like my face is pretty dry, so I like the Milani, um, the Maybelline, because it's a lot more, more moisturizing and it's not dry like other silicone primers. The Milani is going to go on my nose. This one is more drying or mattifying. So I put this one on my nose because my nose gets oily. Okay, and usually I just let that kind of dry in and soak into my skin for a little while. Okay, so now I'm gonna start with my foundation and I look like <laughs> to mix these two. Um, this is Milani Conceal and Perfect. And this is Revlon's Color Stay for dry skin. So while, while my foundation is drying, I like to do my eyebrows. That way it gives the foundation enough time to dry. I'm going to use um, this eyebrow gel from NYX. It works really good and just an angle brush. I'm just going to clean out my eyebrows a little bit and I'm going to use uh, the Milani, I mean Maybelline Master Conceal. I'm going to use this uh, eye primer by Hard Candy. So while my eye primer is drying, I like to contour next and I'm going to use ELF's contour kit and start with the darkest shade. To blend out the harsh line, I'm going to just use a angled brush and mix both of the colors together. So I just use circular motions to blend it and then I just kind of flick it up. And when I contour my nose, uh, I just get a small fluffy brush and the dark shade from the contour kit and I'm just going to follow the natural line of my nose here on both sides. It's down here to the tip of the nose just to bring in the nose shape up. And if it ever looks like too harsh, you can just go back with the uh, your sponge that you put your foundation with and just kind of go over that so it's not too crazy like that I don't know what that was now finally for eyeshadow I'm going to use this uh, Remmel's eyeshadow uh, Magnifique eyeshadow palette I'm just going to start with this shade right here. It's a matte. It's more pink than it is like a white nude or, or white. If that's too pink, if you don't really like the way that looks, you can just always get um, any other shade that you like for, your un uh, for under your eyebrow. And this is uh, L'Oreal's little eyeshadow. They're, 
It's their eyeshadow singles, and this is in Sandy Shore, 801. And this one actually is a lot better for under your eyebrow. This helps um, set your eyeshadow base so that when you do put your other eyeshadow colors on, it doesn't stick so much to the eye primer to where it looks patchy and not so blended. Okay, and for this easy look, I'll just get any eyeshadow color that's medium to dark, not, not too dark, but for this I will use this shimmer shade here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's the sixth shade. <laughs> I'll just blend that right here, back and forth. So once that color is blended out, I'll get like a flat, fluffy brush, whatever you like to call this. This is a brush um, from e.l.f. And I'll get a slightly darker shade. Mm, let's see. We'll use this one here. So this is a 6th, 7th, 8th shade from this palette. And then I'll just put that right here. That way it looks almost like a cut crease but not as um, defined or exaggerated. And I'll just focus that color right here. I won't really drag it much more in because I just want the outer edge. To be darker and now I'll get a lighter shade so for this one I'll get the second shade of this palette and then put that right here for shimmer shades so you don't have to use these exact same eyeshadows if you don't like shimmer in your crease or anything like that or if you prefer matte, you can do this with pretty much any eyeshadow you prefer. And it and it looks like you took a long time or took a long to put a lot of effort into your makeup. But really it's just super easy. Pretty quick too. eyeliner I'm going to use this Milani I tech extreme and I really like it I just recently found out about this eyeliner I saw it at the store and was curious about it so wanted to try it out And I have to do a winged liner. It's just what I've always done since like sixth grade, so. I like it pretty long and dramatic, so. There's how that would look. And I have to curl my eyelashes before I put mascara or anything on I have to do that lash glue I use is this one by KISS it looks awesome and these lashes are uh, doubled up and that's what they're called. I don't remember who they're by. I think they're by Ardell. 
So there's that. They're really pretty lashes. I just wish the band wasn't so thick. I'll conceal under my eyes. Sometimes the concealer can look a little bit too pale. So then I'll go back in with a bronzer or contour color. And this one is from Wet n Wild. And I'll take this shade right here. It's their Dulce de Leche Mega Glow Contouring Palette. And I'll just contour. To bring some color back into my skin. I'm quickly running out of ways to describe things. Okay. So I put some chapstick on. And if I'm in a hurry, I'll just grab any lipstick or lip gloss. It's quicker. That goes with the eyeshadow a little bit more. So, Milani's lipstick. This is Dulce. I don't know how to say that. Number 27. And it's really close to the eyeshadow shade. I will set my under eye. I don't like to use too much powder because I have dry skin so it can make it too dry or look too dry so I'll just put it right under my eye from the Wet n Wild palette. I really like this powder. It reminds me of um, Remel Stay Matte powder. It's pretty, pretty nice. And a little bit on my nose because I do get oily there. And if there's any extra powder, I'll just flick that off with a brush, clean brush. And let's see what else. Oh, mascara. This is, let's see, CoverGirls, the Super Plumper. Super sizer. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I'll just put a little bit on my lower lash lashes to bring them out. From the same palette, I'll just grab this darker shade here. And line my uh, bottom half of my eye. with any little brush that reaches right there and then from the same palette just grab a lighter shade and put that in the inner corner of my eye And that's it. I hope you liked the way it came out. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.